speaking about confidence. Confidence in Hashem. It's much deeper than what people think. The confidence in Hashem equal menuchat anefesh shelaboteach. What we call in English a peace of mind of the person who trusts Hashem. Peace of mind. What does it mean, peace of mind? That his heart is totally relaxed and counting on Hashem that is every second he does what's good for him and he doesn't have to ever worry about it. And it doesn't matter if you understand if it's good or you don't understand if it's good, but it's a fact that in every given second, whatever happens to me, it's good for Hashem, and this is what we have to believe in. If we reach this level, life becomes fantastic. First of all, no one would have depression. Yeah. Think about it. You don't need Prozac, don't need psychiatrists, don't need uh, all kinds of... You don't need right away. Why? You have no fear. Life, remember my last lecture was, fear it's illegal. I'm continuing a little bit, but a little bit different. To fear the future, it's illegal. It's against the Torah. Whenever a person is fearing whether he's going to get married or not, or if he's going to have children or not, or if he find a job or not, or if he'll have what to eat or not, or if he can put his children in yeshiva or not, all this fear that people have, they all violation of the obligation that Hashem gave us in his Torah. It's a violation. And it's not less than eating chazir, pork, or shrimps, or any other things. That's what people do not understand. People understand, I made a sin with my hands. Oh, I know it's a sin. They don't understand that the sins in the mind is just as bad or worse. It contaminates the mind. It contaminates the connection between the Jew to Hashem. If a person does not throw all his worry and problems and pain and agony and all the things that he's supposed to be worried about, he throw everything on Hashem and he has a peace of mind, he will never be happy. There's no way to be happy worrying about the future. 